How about picture this? Maybe you're uh, 55, you're close to retirement, and you're deciding, hey, should we downsize our home? But you upgrade your social life more than you ever expected. Sounds fun. Well, that is what is happening in Minnetonka at Avador, a once-of-a-kind 55-plus active adult community. Kelly checked it out this week and came back to our office. I'm not kidding you guys. She was raving about this place. So she found out what it's truly like to live as we age. Take a look. When I walked in, I thought, when do I turn 55 so I can move in here? When you grow up, right? <laughs> yeah. A lot of times we think of like senior living. That's mm -hmm. not really what this is. No, it's a, it's a different concept. It's unique in the Midwest um, and we're kind of a one of a kind. And the fact that we have that sense of um, community through all the events we do and how we set things up, but we don't have nursing on site like senior living and we don't have a restaurant. So there, um, certainly residents can bring in o their own home care if they needed it at some points. Um, but really, it's for those who enjoy an active lifestyle. And that's, that's why we call ourselves a 55 plus active adult. You walk in there and you see everyone mingling. There's puzzles being done. There's friendships forming. I met a woman who moved in a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. and was already with some ladies doing a puzzle. Yeah. Seeing that, that's got to make you feel good seeing that this community is, is building. Oh, it's the reason we all come to work every day. I mean, the, the connections that are made and the stories that we hear, um, it's definitely the vibe is, is um, wonderful here. Yeah. Come on inside. Whoa. Whoa. Again, when can I move in? Well, you have to grow up a little bit, <laughs> obviously. You this told me that, but this is a, one of our many floor plans. We have 27 different floor plans, and this is a two-bedroom, two-bath, but we have one bedrooms, some overlooking, like this one is looking overlooking the new park and the pool. Wow. When you first walked in, did you have the same reaction that I did? Oh, my gosh, <laughs> yes. It felt like it, I was in a resort. It and, does. Um, but I wasn't in a very good time in my life. My husband was in memory care and I was having to sell my home and so I did some research my daughter who's my rock helped me she's an attorney which helped a lot too <laughs> but um, we I, we researched some places and when we walked in I knew that this was the place that I wanted to be my new home I was yeah. giving up my home and I needed a new home you're a fairly young woman can I ask how old you are no <laughs> <laughs> you can ask <laughs> All right, but well, you're 55 plus. I'm 55 plus for sure. <laughs> Were you worried about having that feel of a senior community center? Oh, not at all. Okay. No, you no. wanted that socialization. Absolutely. It's so key to aging. Um, I, I'm a former psychologist, mm -hmm. been retired for about a year and a half. And um, socialization is so key. Everything I read, I mean, just my, my training, everything is so key to people in general. But uh, for the aging process, it's absolutely mandatory. I hear that there's some fun classes. Have you taken part in any, anything they've offered? I've done some classes, some art classes, where I feel like I'm back in kindergarten <laughs> because of the way the things turn out. But absolutely, uh, we've started a, a story group here where we meet and talk, talk about stories. And, mm -hmm. and um, we watch movies. We do lots of different things. We have live music. Um, we have opportunities to enjoy the pool deck for our happy hours. We have a private dining room. Here you see the club room, which is a nice Beautiful. casual kind of vibe mm -hmm. to it. And um, all families are uh, welcomed here and friends. I heard someone talk about a disco night. Oh, that's, that's happening this week. You, you know, you can come dress up or you don't have to. Do I? Can I come? You can. <laughs> you, you don't even have to be 55 and you can still come. But maybe you are, you aren't an extrovert. Maybe you do want to be by yourself. That's okay too here, right? You don't have to do everything that everyone else is doing. Well, I'm finding that there are people who prefer their, they, they can be good by themselves. Mm -hmm. I'm not one of those, I've discovered I'm not one of those people. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because of where I live and I love the people and I just want to be with them. I want to be around them. And we actually have some people moving here from senior living because they feel too young and hip <laughs> to be in that environment and they want to move here. So yeah. all, all ages.
I mean, that place was incredible. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I get every, you have the mail room, I the know. workout space, the gathering space. This is awesome. Oh, what a dad thing to say. That terrific mail room. <laughs> <laughs> well, that yeah, <laughs> Kelly was <laughs> she was raving about that when she came back to the office. So I had I to know. mention. Still uh, a dad thing to say. <laughs> so Avador has two locations in Minnesota, Minnetonka and one in Edina. They do. And uh, if you want to learn more about living in Avador in Minnetonka and all the amenities that you can enjoy while living there, you can join them for a dine and discover lunch. It's Tuesday, May 2nd at 1130. You can call the number right there, 952-213-5155. You can make your reservation. And we have all of that information posted on TwinCitiesLive.com.